All right, everybody, we are back. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. This is KUM News Extra, and I'm Jason Stiles. We have a great show for you tonight. So as always, we appreciate your visual patronage. Thanks so much for tuning in. And we are going to start up talking about autism on our little island right here. Now, despite Guam's population, you might be surprised at how widespread autism is and how many people and how many Guamanian families it actually affects. Now, the great organization that deals with that is Autism Community Together. And we have Mary Cruz, and we are going to talk about that very topic to lead off the show. Mary, half a day. Thanks Hafide, for joining me. Thank you. Okay. Uh, how many people does autism affect right now on island? Because like I said, I mean, the stats might be startling and surprising to some people. Right. Uh, right now, from what I understand, it is one in every four births mm -hmm. of boys have autism. Mm -hmm. and, and I what, believe one in every ten mm -hmm. of girls. And autism has maybe come into the public light maybe like in the last 20 or 25 years, uh, probably admittedly because of the movie Rain Man and everything. But um, what type of... Uh, behavior patterns does um, autism exhibit? There's, there are different um, behavior patterns. That's, that's the thing that I've come to learn, Jason. Uh, my son Pedro is six, and at two and a half I brought him into peas because I was wondering about a lack of behaviors. He mm. wasn't talking, he wasn't babbling, and so my concern was something doesn't seem right here. I have four older children, he's the youngest of five children, and so I already knew that something was different. And now, in the four years' time of being part of ACT, Autism Community Together, and Pedro's one of the youngest members, and I've come to learn and realize that their behaviors, you can't predict their behaviors. Mm -hmm. Some do the flapping, and it's like, you know, waving of their arms and, and patting it at their head. And what they're actually doing is they're blocking out an overload of audio mm -hmm. coming into their mind, coming into their, to their sensories. So, and Pedro doesn't do that. Um, some, they, some have a very difficult time with direct eye contact, and sometimes Pedro has that with, with strangers. He has become very comfortable with family as far as giving direct eye contact. It's a social interaction. Mm -hmm. The common thread that I would say between children with autism that is a symptom or um, a similarity would be the social the lack of social interaction. Mm -hmm. And the organization to which you belong, Autism Community Together, is a support group for families that are affected by autism. And how many members do you have? We have, uh, we have about, about 150 members that have actually joined and participated or attended our regular monthly meetings, uh, which is the last Saturday of each month. We don't have a regular attendance of 150, but we have 150 families identified as part of our organization. Mm -hmm. And you guys have an event coming up, and uh, I understand the theme is rather significant. Yes, the hmm. theme for this year's Autism Awareness Fair, and it's actually our 10th, it's our 10th anniversary for ACT, 7th annual fair, and it is solving the puzzle one piece at a time. Mm -hmm. if, you've, uh, if you're aware of the autism symbol, it's a puzzle piece, a ribbon made out of puzzle pieces. Mm -hmm. And so we have a lot of neat ideas for our fair coming up. Mm -hmm. involving the puzzle. That's our theme for this year. And are the people that, you know, would like to attend, I mean, if, if there's anybody out there, is it typically just uh, people that aren't in ACT right now and like, you know, like maybe have a family member either directly or indirectly who has autism or, you know, healthcare practitioners or basically is it for anybody in the community who's interested in learning and getting involved? Right. We definitely want um, families that have an autistic, someone with autism in their family, but we the, the main purpose also of the, of the fair is to bring in the whole community so that we can learn together about autism. One thing that we have, that we are challenged with on our island is the acceptance of children with autism, mm -hmm. whether it be at Pedro's age at six or an adult at 23 who has autism. We are trying to make awareness through education and through community outreach projects like this to let everyone become aware and have we don't, we don't, it's not only social, accept, social interaction for our kids, it's social acceptance for our island mm -hmm. that we're lacking. Now, last week on this very show, we were talking uh, with some members of the Developmental Disabilities Council, and they were actually speaking in, you know, like bringing about awareness. Uh, former First Lady Roseanne Adda was one of them. Yes. And she was actually talking about, um, you know, creating workplace opportunities for people with disabilities. Uh, yes. How do you guys also handle, like you said, um, people with autism that are already into their adult years and, you know, how they can... Um, you know, s interact with other people in society. And, and that we, we outreach, we use the outreach, the services of the same organizations that you mentioned, mm -hmm. DISID, and um, uh, from when they're younger, they would be uh, early intervention. So the same organizations all work, kind of work together to help children and, and the adults of our community mm -hmm. as far as uh, transition, 
as well as independent living. All right. So we, we, we connect with all of those. All right. Well and done. those same organizations will be at the fair. Okay, perfect. Is yes. there a number where people can uh, call for more information or can they find like resources on the web? We have our own uh, website, Autism Community Together Guam. And uh, you can also call 488-1484. And Evelyn, that will reach Evelyn Claris, who is the ACT president. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, perfect. Thank you so much, Mary. Thank you for having us. Thank uh, you we very much. You we look forward to having everyone there. All right. Thank you very much. Now, stay tuned, everyone, because there is more.